What is up everyone, Ryan here again, this time coming at you with a review of the Crucial M4 256GB SSD. Now I did an unboxing and installation of this in two previous videos, but in this video I want to show you how well this computer, a 2011 MacBook Pro, runs with the Crucial M4 inside. So without further ado, let's get this thing going. As you can see on the back of the box, this is a 2.5 inch SATA 6 gigabit per second drive, so it will be able to run in your regular PC, not just in this MacBook 2011. Unfortunately, if you have anything older than this 2011 MacBook, it won't be able to run. And incidentally, anything newer than this, with the Retina display, won't be able to be even included in that computer. So I've been getting some blazing fast speeds out of this drive after I've installed it a couple weeks ago. Programs open quickly, the computer boots up so much faster than before, and overall, just a better experience. As of today, I have had no issues and would definitely recommend this drive to anybody interested in upgrading their computer to an SSD. So to get this review kicked off, I want to show you just how quickly this computer can restart. That's turning off and turning back on. Alright, wait for it. Here it is. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Haha, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that to you guys. But in all seriousness, now from my installation video, we did see that the SSD boot time was 18 seconds. I'm not going to go through everything in that video, but if you want to, you can go check it out. We had the boot up from the original computer with the hard disk drive, and then also the new boot up speed with the SSD included as well. Now here at 25 seconds, we're already turning back on, got the Apple screen. I just want to mention to you guys that this is blowing the original hard disk drive out of the water right now. I'm so impressed by the speeds of this SSD and just cannot believe how quickly this computer runs with it inside. And there we go, 42 seconds, the computer is on and ready to go. Now the first test I'm going to do on this new system is Nova Bench. This is a benchmarking software available in the Mac App Store for the great price of $0. That's right, it's free. It allows you to compare your Mac and PC to other Macs and PCs out there based off of a simple score that it gives you after running a little test. Now I've run Nova Bench a couple times on this MacBook Pro with the lowest score being 1064. That's while running a screen capture software. And then without running that screen capture, I got a top score of of 1185. Now comparing that to IMAX from 2011, this MacBook blows the IMAX out of the water on Nova Bench score. Check this out. The next test I'm going to run is Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. I've used this a couple times in my previous videos. Again, it is a free app in the Mac App Store that allows you to test the speed of your hard drives, whether it's an SSD or an HDD. You can check the read and the write speeds. Now for this Crucial M4, I'm seeing speeds for write around 260 to 270 megabytes per second and read all the way up to a crazy 500 megabytes per second. Now just to compare those speeds, for my friends over at 9to5Mac, the new Retina Display Max, the SSDs in there come in at a write speed of 410 megabytes per second and a read speed of 450 megabytes per second. Now comparing that to the Crucial M4, the write speeds are a little bit lower for the Crucial M4, but the Crucial M4 read speeds are higher comparatively. So that's it for my review of the Crucial M4 256GB solid state drive. I give this SSD a 9 out of 10, only because there are some drives that have a little bit better performance and some drives that have a little bit better reliability, but for the price, this SSD is on point. At the moment, you can't really get anything better for the price per gigabyte, and with Crucial's amazing customer support and reliability, this drive is definitely one to check out. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll look forward to talking to you next time. See ya.